So why are banks freaking out? Well, let me start with sharing what not to do. First, don't play dead. If you don't do anything, this is a setup for catastrophe. And by the way, the second thing, trying to avoid open banking and PSD2, try to only deliver minimal access to your uh, customer base and trying to defend with nasty tricks and not to get the access to your data. And this is like fighting against history. Well, horses also tried this against cars. Well, and you know, look where they ended up. Understand digital transformation, open banking and PSD2 not as a defensive fight. Let's understand it as an opportunity to grow. Think about the possibilities. What would be possible if you as a financial institution win the heart, minds and home screen of your customer and you're providing him with digital services and products that excite him and help him in their daily life. So I listen to this. I'm scouting digital and tech trends around the world in order to bring it to you. And I've helped numerous companies to set up ecosystems of digital products and services and to increase their reach with attention hacking. And now the four things I believe can help a little bit. First, accept the new reality. The old, good old times in which you sat on your data and only your consultant had access to the inheritance of Aunt Mary are over. Ignoring and resisting are not options. Second, accept that there are new kids on the block. Well, I think there are new kids, that there are participants in the market that have not been here for 100 years, but that maybe know a thing or two better than we do. Third, let's please, 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 please understand digital transformation, open banking and PSD2 not as a defensive fight. Let's understand it as an opportunity to grow. Think about the possibilities. What would be possible if you as a financial institution win the heart, minds and home screen of your customer and you're providing him with digital services and products that excite him and help him in their daily life and um, actually enable you to enlarge your value chain and attack others. And fourth, there's no alternative in becoming a tech driven company by yourself. I know it's really hard to transform a company with a lot of senior employees and people that have done a good job for decades into a hipster startup like sort of organization. But that's not what I mean. We need to transform our banks into tech driven companies where providing digital products and services to the customer are the first one and only priority. And of course, meanwhile, while trying to achieve this, still making significant revenue and profit with our old business model. Hey guys, it would help us a lot if you could hit the subscribe button down there and to make us also grow here on YouTube. Thank you very much.